Hey guys, good morning, good morning. I hope y'all are doing well today. It is Friday and it's Williams Week. So, you know that means something special is coming, right? Well, you're right. So today, we're going with the vintage Williams. Now, I don't use this all the time, but it seemed like the thing to do today. So, oh, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and knock this out. All right, got our brush soaking in our, in our uh, bowl. As you can see here, we're just going to go ahead and undo this cake here. And if you've never seen one of these before, it's pretty cool. All right, on the back it says uh, J.B. Williams Company. And on the front, you have that embossed on there. So I, thought, I think that's pretty cool. All right. Our brush for today uh, is going to be the um, the one that I just bought yesterday. It is the blue handle uh, Vanderhagen. And our bowl today will be this right here. I'm just going to drop this in here and go go uh, go from there. A little bit of water on the face here, and we'll get started. I hope y'all have a good day today. Hope y'all uh, hope you have a good day at work. My week's been crappy already, but it'll be okay. It'll get better, I promise. Um, it's just one of those weeks, man. It, it happens sometimes. You know? If you if you're not if you've never had a bad week at work, I want to come work with you. And of course, the uh, vintage. Williams loads just fine. There's no issue with it at all. Loading here. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting it good now. As you can see here, it's starting to, starting to load real well. All right, got a good razor for today too. So excited about that. All right. We load up good now. Okay, now I'm gonna take the uh, excess that's in here, go right to the face with it there, and then right to the face with it there. Okay, just a second here. here we go right to the face. Okay, we should be good now. And go right to the face line there. Williams. It lathers like a charm, man. Well, of course, so does the new stuff, but the vintage stuff is cool, too. Hope you guys have been uh, enjoying your week of Williams. I know I have been. It's been fun. Can't really think of a better way to start off the, uh, the new year of 2019 than with Williams. Look at that right there. There's one little hair on there, but that's okay. Still a new brush. There we go. Go back to the puck again. Um, not a whole lot really going on. Like I said, just it's been a rough week at work. Um, with the holidays and everything, it's kind of I got my schedule all messed up. We'll get it figured out. I got lots of cool stuff going on, on over on the forum too. So if, uh, if you haven't been over there in a while, check it out. We got some good stuff going on. Way too much water, but it, it'll work itself out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's better. I forget how much to load when it's vintage versus new. I just I can't ever remember for sure. Of 
I'll take it. All right. Ready right, it for today. Jim Featherweight. Let's jump into it. Today we don't have our glasses on, so we got to get up close where we can see here. There we go. There we go. All right. Now this, uh, this brush, like I said, is, using, is losing a few hairs because it's still brand new, but it'll work itself out over time. I'm confident about it. Yeah. So the reason that I chose the featherweight this morning, it's super easy to use, okay? It goes super, it lets you go super fast with it once you know what you're doing. And it's consistent, okay? It's got the kind of angle on it that, that you can find no matter what. the really the first uh, SC razor that I uh, shaved with for a long time. Uh, I had the uh, had a couple of the gym, uh, demon speeds uh, that I did okay with, but this is what I perfected my my talent with right here. All right, there we go. Back across right here, and then start it right here again. Okay, there we go. Let that sit for just a second. Get some coffee. In case you're wondering, uh, coffee today, Cafe Bustelo. Fuzzy got me hooked on this stuff, and it's good too. Now I have a Keurig, so I don't actually have to make a full pot. Um, I may I can get like two or three cups of coffee out of one of those pods, so I'll take it. I'm pretty much the only one here that drinks coffee anyway, so it works out for everybody, right? All right, here we go. Second pass. Need a little bit more water again. I had to go back to the puck. I just didn't load enough. I I always forget how much to do for vintage. Williams. It's a little bit different for me, vintage versus uh, modern. There we go. I definitely am going to like this camera angle a lot better. It's going to be a lot easier for me to get the videos out when it's like this. Oh, I can get as much uh, content out as possible. I think we'll be okay. I'm just getting a little bit of this excess off inside the uh, bowl. i put it all just right there. There we go. So, with Williams, okay, you don't really need that big thick yogurt like load. Now you can get that on there if you want to, but you don't actually need that on there for Williams to work. Okay? I spend a lot of extra time trying to get that instead of worrying about your technique. You'd be trying to chase something. Sorry about that. Got something popping up there. There we go. You know, you'll be trying to chase something that you don't need to chase, making it more difficult on yourself. That's it, right there. Alright, second pass. We're going to come up like this. To be honest with you, I don't remember what 
kind of blade this is. I really can't remember off the top of my head at all. I'm thinking it's a gym uh, PTFE, but I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday, so don't even give me a line to you. Alright, another across the grain here. Especially right there at the corners of my mouth. Okay. As you can see here. Far so good. Come back across this direction. There we go. Okay. And then across one more time. Don't worry, Fuzzy. I got my bowl down here for you. So this has been a great finish to Williams Week. I probably will not shave tomorrow just because I have to go to work so stinking early. So this has been a really good way for me to enjoy Williams Week and finishing up with the vintage stuff. All right, third and final pass. There we go. We're just gonna get all the excess off of this puck right here. Okay, touch your face with it. Hey, there we go. Set that aside momentarily here. Let me get my hands cleaned up real quick. There we go. All right. A couple of little hairs in here because it's still a new brush, like I said. You dip the tips in the water. All right, I can tell that. There we go. Oh, got so much Williams, it's falling off of me. How about that? What do y'all think about that? So we got a bunch of stuff going on, uh, like I said, over on the forum. You guys are pretty cool pass around, people are signing up for right now. If you haven't uh, been over there yet and checked them out, you definitely should. It's really simple. It's just uh, the original safety number two dot com. There you go. That'd be perfectly fine for a third pass. I guarantee it will. So it looks thin, right? Well, it's still protective, and that's all I need. I don't need something super thick. I don't need super creamy. Yeah. I just need it to protect. Look at that right there. All right, now we're gonna go back up again against the groove. there, across there, straight down. With my fingers, I am stretching my skin with my fingers down here on my neck area. There. 
and I'll take that. Jump, jump the face up real fast. I don't know how well you guys can see, but I'll take that. Alright, after shave for today is going to be Stetson Fresh. I if I'm going to have a bad day, at least let me have a uh, decent aftershave, right? There we go. Burns in all the right places. Feels, feels good. So there you have it, guys. There's the Vintage Williams with the uh, Stetson aftershave for Williams Week. Bye.